everyone, I hope you're okay. So today I thought I would do a favourites video because I can't even remember the last time I did a favourites video and I feel like over the past couple of months I've really discovered some really good products. I don't know if that was very good at English but hopefully you get my drift. Um, so yeah, so let's get going because I have got quite a few. So first of all I'm going to start off with the makeup favourites I think and let's go for this one. This has genuinely been my probably one of my favourite products for definitely the past couple of months and that is the Iconic London Illuminator and this is in the shade Original. Now I got sent this last year and when it first arrived I was a bit like, hmm, it's okay. Wasn't really uh, buying into the hype. It's quite expensive, this is about 30 quid so I was like, Phew, it's quite a lot for a highlight so I'm not sure if I would spend that and I kind of just didn't really get it. Now, ever since I've been on Roaccutane, I've found that my skin has kind of obviously completely changed and whilst before my skin was very oily, it was very um, textured, I can't think of the right word, like it wasn't very smooth and I think because of that I just didn't really get on well with this at all. Um, however, since my skin has been a lot smoother and I've been a lot less oily, I feel like I've really gotten to grips with this. Um, I love this. I literally love this. I use it um, in a few different ways. So depending on how my skin's looking, if my skin is looking particularly dry and dull, I will pop this on underneath my foundation. Sometimes I'll mix it in with my foundation for a really nice glowy look. But usually a lot of the time I tend to just use this on top of my foundation as a highlighter. I don't know if you can see it today. Um, but yeah, it is just the most amazing highlighter. It gives you such a good glow. It gives you that real kind of Instagram glow that you see on Instagram. And yes, really, really, really like this. I feel like I've completely changed my mindset on it. I would definitely buy this now because you need literally the tiniest amount. So it really would last you a really long time. And yeah, absolutely love this. It's been making my skin look really nice and glowy when it definitely hasn't been glowy whatsoever. Okay, apologies if you can hear the dog barking and grumbling. Uh, the postman's just been. Okay, so next makeup product. Oh, did you see that? I bet I couldn't do that again if I tried. Is the Barry M Crust Dual Cream. Right, I'm just going to pop this here because I feel like... I don't know, I just don't feel very comfortable. There you go, I've got a little pink fluffy cushion here. Anyways, um, this is the Barry Young Crush Jewel Eyeshadow. I haven't got this on today, uh, which probably was like a bad thing to do, but I have been loving these so, so much. Again, I feel like it's because maybe I've got a bit more confidence in my skin, but I never used to try cream products because my skin was so oily that it just didn't work. So I think now that it's all dry and smooth and stuff, um, I've been being a bit more adventurous with the cream products and this is so so good. It does go like creamed powder, um, it goes quite glittery and shimmery and they're just really 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 lovely. I've got a few shades of these. Um, I like this one which is called Pillow Talk, it's kind of like a bronzy gold. I like a light gold colour and then there's a dark brown. I'm really rubbish, I don't know the names, terrible blogger. Um, but yeah, really really like these, they're really nice and easy to blend and they create such a nice eye look. So yeah. Really, really love these as well. Um, I think that might be it for makeup, actually. I'm going to show you a nail polish. That's kind of like makeup, isn't it? And um, this is the Essie Gel Couture Matter of Fiction. It was part of the Enchanted Collection, which hopefully you can still get. Otherwise, I'm just being a massive tease about things. But this may be my new favourite nail polish. You guys know me. I'm very boring when it comes to nail polish. I like a pale pink. What? Well, I've got blue on today, actually. Um, but usually I like a pale pink, Essie Fiji, Essie Minimalistic, Essie Lace Me Up, all my faves. Anyways, this is lovely. It's kind of a bit more of a cool toned pink. Um, it's a little bit like Fiji, but not as white, if that makes sense. But I love the Essie Gel Couture range. It's the range, I can't get my words out. It's the range that um, lasts the longest on me. I find that it doesn't chip very easily so I'm a big big fan. I tend to paint my nails with Essie, the Essie gel range like all the time just because I'm lazy and I can't really be bothered like painting my nails a lot so I find that I tend to just paint them with these all the time because I know they're not going to chip too much and I'm pretty positive I'm going to be using one of these for my wedding day. So yeah, matter of fiction, if you like a good baby pink nail polish you should like this. It's also worth noting, I realised as I was just talking about that there's two more products that I probably should have brought down 
but I, to be honest, I can't obviously go and get them. So it's the Leighton Denny, I think it's called the Miracle Mist Spray. I've vlogged about this on my blog, so I'll pop a link down below. It's basically a nail drying spray and it is amazing. I hate waiting for my nails to dry. I've just got, I can't be bothered just sitting around doing stuff. I can't sit still. Well, I can sit still, but I just struggle to like not do anything with my hands. Anyways, um, you spray it on your nails and within about two minutes, your nails are completely dry. It's an absolute lifesaver. It saves so much time when you're painting your nails. So yeah, I absolutely love that. And also there's a Barry M peel off base coat, which I've also been loving. I'm really lazy and I don't like taking off my nail varnish because I have this weird thing about cotton wool, like it really freaks me out, don't ask. And um, basically you put on this base coat and it peels off. So you don't have to use cotton wool like ball remover. It's meant to be for like glitter nail varnish because you know how much of a ball like it is taking off glitter nail polish. But I tend to use it quite a lot on just normal nails as well because that is like the level of laziness that I am at. It's so, so good. Like literally, it's so good. The only problem is sometimes it just comes off completely like before you're ready for it to come off. But because it's saving you some time, you don't mind as much. So yeah, really, really like those. I'll pop the blog post down below so you can see what I'm talking about. But I wanted to give them a little mention too. And the next product is kind of like makeup. But it's also not like makeup. Um, this is the O'Keefe's Lip Repair Lip Balm. Now, as I mentioned very briefly before, I'm currently on Roaccutane. I don't know if you know this or not. I don't know if I've not really spoke about it on YouTube. So I'll give you like a brief, brief introduction. I'm currently on uh, a treatment called Roaccutane. It's for skin and acne. I've struggled with my skin since I was about 12 years old. And last year, I just thought, you know what? I cannot be dealing with this anymore. Um, ever since I've come off the pill, my skin's just gone and it was horrific. It's one of the many reasons why I stopped making YouTube videos because I just felt so awful about my skin. I don't take selfies, I don't like taking photos of myself because my skin was just always awful and it was just getting to the point where I was just stressed about stupid little things and I was worried about my wedding day. Like I used to get these really big under the skin spots and you cannot hide them. And I was just really worried that I would wake up on my wedding day or like the day before my wedding I would have one of those huge spots that you cannot hide and I just thought I've spent all this money on a wedding and all the photos are just gonna have a massive spot and or I'm just gonna feel really rubbish the whole day because like when I get one of those spots I just don't want to leave the house I can't look at anyone in the eye it's just it's just not nice and I just got to put on my foot you know what? I'm 26 I can't really deal with this anymore so I went to the doctors blah 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 and I've been put on my racketine. so I'm currently on my fifth month which is hopefully my final month of the treatment have been blogging about the whole process so again I'll link all the blog posts down below if you fancy reading them and basically a side effect um, of the drug so basically how it works it shrinks your oil glands so you stop producing so much oil. It's also anti-inflammatory and it kills bacteria. So like all together, it kind of stops spots. But obviously because of that, your skin gets incredibly dry. And a lot of these products I'm gonna talk about are all things that have really, really been helping me throughout the past months, past few months. So this O'Keefe's lip balm is the best lip balm hands down that I've used throughout my Rakuten treatment. I've tried many lip balms. Like seriously, I've been trying loads of different ones out. And this is the one that I always go back to. It is amazing. I think this is my fourth or fifth tube of the stuff. I go for about one a month. And it's about four pound, three pounds to four pounds, depending on where you get it from. You get it from really random places. Like they sell it in Plum Fix, which is so random. Um, so whenever Henry goes there to get like DIY stuff, I'm like, can you pick me up a lip balm? You can also get it in Boots. Um, you can get it on Amazon, I think, as an add-on item. Get it in America. But um, it's literally the bee's knees. I use this day to day and as soon as I run out of it, I'll try another lip balm and I find that literally my lips just feel so tight and dry. This has kept my lips um, moisturised. They haven't been chapped whatsoever. I've seen people who have had really dry chapped lips that have bled. This has kept my lips like normal. So if you either are on Roaccutane you're going on Roaccutane, definitely make sure you pick this up. I've got the cooling one. I tend to go for just the regular one. Um, there's not really much difference in them, to be honest. Um, or if you just get dry lips, this is literally amazing. Like, seriously, so, so good. And it has saved my lips during my Roaccutane treatment. So yeah, really, really good. Would recommend this to anyone. Finally, this skincare product has been saving my skin. Um, quite... Quickly, my skin got very dry, got quite tight and uh, sore. 
and I know that I was a bit worried about my skin being really sensitive um, on the treatment. I started using this, I got sent this around Christmas time um, as part of the gift guide and this is the Pestle and Mortar Pure Hyaluronic Serum. This is amazing, literally it's so so good. I feel like this product has kept my skin in check. My skin is dry but it's not unmanageable whatsoever, it's not sensitive, it's not sore, it's not tight it's completely manageable and I think it is all down to this. So I tend to use this in the evenings. You can't, don't just use this on its own. It's basically like a priming, a primer for your moisturizer. So I think this kind of allows the skin to take in more oil or moisturizer, I think. Like this isn't moisturizing enough on its own. So I put this on after I've come out of the shower and cleansed my face. And then on top of this, I will put a face oil. Currently I'm using the Pixie Rose Oil. I'll let that sink in. And then I'll put a moisturizer on top. I've been using the Burt's Bees ones at the moment. And then on top of that, I've got, um, I recently been trying out a scars solution. It's called Solution for Scars um, to kind of ease any redness. And I haven't tried it enough to kind of give you a proper review, but I will report back in due course. But this is so good. I've literally almost finished it and I need to get a new bottle. I've been using this every single evening since beginning of December. So I think that's pretty good going. Still got a little bit left. But this honestly is really, really good. It's quite expensive. I think this is about £30. But honestly, I feel like it's kept my skin feeling normal. So for that, I think it's worth the price 100%. Okay, next up, we have got a few random products. I'm going to go on with a hair product. This is the L'Oreal Stylista, the big hairspray. So this is part of a new styling range, which L'Oreal recently released. Um... And this is a really good hairspray. I have been using this recently and I found that my hair has been lasting a lot longer than what it normally does. Um, I'm not sure how much this is, so I will have to look it up, but I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing it. Also, it smells really, really good. It smells lovely. Um, you don't need a huge amount, but it does keep your hair lasting all day. So, really big fan of this. Definitely gonna repick it up because, um, oh, it's got vanilla extract in, but it smells amazing. Really, really good. Finally, We've got two fake tan products for you. So first of all, I'm gonna tell you about a fake tan. Second of all, I'm gonna tell you about a product which saved my ass last week. So first of all, Saint Tropez Self Tan Express. This is one of my favorite fake tans ever. I've been using this a lot recently and it is so, so, so good. Um, why do I like it? Well, I like it because it dries very quickly. You can use it in one hour, but I don't do that. I tend to sleep in overnight because uh, clearly I'm a rebel who cannot be tamed. And it goes a really lovely dark color. It takes ages to fade, so it lasts quite a long time. Um, it, it's not really offensively smelling. It's very easy to apply. I think that's about the gist of it. Um, but it's just a really nice dark tan. It's got a guide color, so it's very easy to see like where you've missed um, those kind of places. And like I said, it dries incredibly quickly. Um, I tend to pop this on, pop on some pajamas and go to bed. It gives you a really nice kind of dark, but kind of natural color. Whenever I've worn this, people have said to me, wow, you look really tanned. When I went to the dermatologist, I had to show her um, a spot that I had on my shoulder. And she was like, gosh, you look so tanned. Have you been away? And I was like, no, 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 no it's all fake. Um, but yeah. Really, really lovely tan. It is a bit pricier than the usual kind of tans I use, but it is really, really good. Like, it's definitely one of the better tans that I use full stop. I also really like the Sun Kissed Spray Tan. Um, it's called like the Moisturising Spray in Dark. I managed to pick up loads for one pound. Apparently they're like repackaging. My only problem with that is it's quite hard to tell where you've missed because it comes out as a moisturiser. So I definitely wouldn't recommend that if you're like new to fake tanning because it's quite difficult to work out if you've actually got everywhere. The bonus with that though, it doesn't transfer on your sheets, which is amazing. But I um, wanted to give this a mention because it's such a nice dark tan and I would 100% recommend it. And then finally, the fake tan product, as I like teased you with, that kind of saved my ass. I wouldn't say, I think that's a bit dramatic if I'm being honest. I should probably say it saved my very orange hands. I had a fake tan disaster last week. Let me just tell. I've got two minutes left on my memory card, so I'm gonna have to tell you this quite quickly. So basically, I was using this new fake tan last week, and I'm quite a confident tanner because I've been tanning for like 10 years. 
and um, I worked this out the other day. So I've been tanning once a week since I was 16, which means I've applied probably over 520 tans. How crazy is that? How many minutes is that that I've probably spent applying fake tan? It's just crazy. Anyways, so I'm quite a confident fake tanner. I kind of know what I'm doing. I feel like I've got it down, you know? Do you know what I mean? Even though I have got quite orange hands today, but whatever. Anyways, I tried this new fake tan and it was terrible. It wasn't terrible. It was, I don't know if it was me. My skin's very dry. I hadn't moisturised. Not usually, it's not usually a problem, but it was a problem. It was going all patchy and I couldn't buff it in. It was late. I was tired. I just wanted to get into bed. We had plans the next day. So I was like rubbing it in and then the, whenever I rubbed it in with like my mitt, it was then coming off in patches. So in the end, I was like rubbing it with my hands. And then I washed my hands, went to bed and thought, right, I'm sure it'll all be fine. Woke up in the morning and my body actually looked quite even. I was like, oh, thank God for that. Looked down at my hands, they were really orange. I thought, it's not a big deal. I'll scrub them in the shower, it'll be fine. So I scrubbed them in the shower, they looked okay. But then during the day, they were getting oranger and oranger. So I got off the train in Birmingham, which is where we're spending the day. I'm not even joking. They were so orange, they were like luminous. And I was like, oh my God, look at my hands. So I was like, right, it's fine, they'll be fine. I'm, I'm quite used to being orange, like it's not a big deal. But I'm not even joking, about an hour after this, my hands, like here, were literally dark orange. They looked rusty, like, you know, like a rust stain. They were just so, so orange. Like, I've never seen my hands so bad before. I was like, I could physically see them getting oranger as I looked at them. And I was like, oh my god, this is awful. I was like, pulling my sleeves down over my hands because I was embarrassed. It was terrible. So I found a super drug and I was like, I need to find something to try and help sort out my hands because I just could not go around Birmingham with these orange hands. And I found these sponges. So they're from Soleil at Superdrug and they're the Self Tan Corrector Sponge. Now these are melamine sponges, which are better known as magic erasers. So usually they're used to get stains off like your worktop. But these work amazingly off a tan. I couldn't believe it. I started scrubbing. You wet them, you start scrubbing, the fake tan started to come off. And they took my hands from being orange and looking like I just dipped my hand in a can of Ron Seal paint to just being normal. So these are probably something that are very, very useful to have in your house if you fake tan because fake tan disasters happen to the best of us. So I really hope you have enjoyed this video. These are all my favourites that I've been loving recently. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments of what your favourite products are at the moment because I would absolutely love to know. But I'm going to go now. Thank you all for so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video.